What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you seven new and very nice features of LumiFusion 2.0. we have a improved user interface. Nothing's hidden anymore and everything is right here where you need it. So we have all the basic editing tools down at the bottom and that's pretty cool and helps you to edit faster. If you are selecting a clip, the slip editor appears up here. And you are able to see the whole clip, so it's um, some seconds long, and see what part of the clip you've chosen. And you are able to choose a different part with exactly the same length you have cut it. And that's cool. With 2.0, we get this touch or scrub bar right below the preview window. It helps you to get around your timeline pretty fast and it shows you a graphical representation of your timeline which is very good for your orientation during the project. If you are long pressing the play button, a chalk shuttle appears, which is very good for fine tuning and you're able to move 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 30, and 60 frames along your timeline. Pretty cool. But if you just want to move frame by frame, you also can swipe over your preview window in the direction you want to move. So right or left, just frame by frame. We have 12 layers now. So six video layers and six audio layers or 12 audio layers. And as you can see, this is pretty useful as in this project, I needed at least six video layers and two audio layers. Um, the other audio layers are just show, to show you the 12 possible layers in total. And I need them right often. So here again, five, four, four, four. So this is a great improvement for bigger projects and more iconic editing. If you are long pressing the gear icon, tooltips are opening, showing you all the hidden or showing tools you can use in LumaFusion. And that's pretty awesome, especially if you get an update or are new to this app. With the next update, we are getting XML project package exporting, which means you are able to upload your LumaFusion projects into a cloud folder and then drag them right into your Final Cut Pro library or project library, where you can open them and, re and continue editing in Final Cut on your MacBook or on your Mac. And that's pretty good for pro editors. I hope you have enjoyed this short but very informative video. And give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to activate the bell so you won't miss any video in future. But now, see you next time guys. Bye.